Hey, Joe Cycle here. Just wanted to show you guys the uh, what I consider the most revolutionary best bike of the year. Uh, when I say revolutionary, it's what I think is going to become the new standard two to three years ahead of their time. When I mean they is, I am referring to the 3T Strata bike. Um, if you pay attention to this bike, there's a couple of things happening here. Uh, one, we have a one by uh, system for road bikes. Now, I'm a mountain biker, I'm a cyclist, I'm a road rider, and I think it's very well documented that in the mountain bike side, uh, one by systems have done amazingly well. Uh, and the arguments against it have fallen on the wayside, and pretty much it's been uh, completely accepted in the mountain biking world. And if we take the cyclocross world, uh, it's not only come in there, but it's also dominating in the cyclocross word, world. I'm not saying that every cyclocross bike is one by, but um, you can achieve everything you need with a one by. It's simpler, it's uh, more aerodynamic, it just makes sense. Why have two chain rings in the front? It just, th th there really is no argument for it. If we had to reverse engineer something, let's say that status quo was not two chain rings in the front. Do you think that at any point in time, if the norm was actually one chain ring in the front, that someone would say, hey, let's come up with a front derailleur and let's make uh, two chain rings in the front. It would never happen. Um, so I want to, uh, like I said, talk about the 3T Strata. Uh, they don't give me any money. They don't sponsor me. They don't, uh, unfortunately, I'd love one of these rides. Um, but here's the thing, uh, just because they were first doesn't mean that they are the only ones that can achieve what they have achieved. So they sell the frame sets, uh, for about $3,000. I know, ouch. Um, and that complete bike, uh, I think you get between the 6,000 to, uh, well, all decked out, you can go, I guess, as high as you want. But around six, six to seven thousand dollars, you can get a bike from them, complete bike. Uh, in, my, in my world, that is a lot of money. Uh, but can you achieve something similar um, with uh, a lot less money? Well, absolutely, you can. There is really nothing proprietary with what they've done. And let's, let's discuss a little bit the benefits and, and exactly what they have done, okay? So the 3T Strata, uh, it is a uh, completely uh, thought through bike that is engineered for one purpose, uh, well, the purpose of being as aerodynamic as possible and... Um, and still be a road bike. We're not talking about a, a time trialing machine here or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> it's a road bike and it's aerodynamic and it's simple uh, with the one by chain ring. And uh, it just, it, it's a piece of art almost. When I look at it, I think it is one of the sexiest, sexiest bikes uh, ever. That's a, oh, there we go. Um, so let's discuss this for a little bit. It's built around 28 mil tires. Now I've, I've, I've discussed this in a previous video comparing 23 mil, 25 mil and 28 mils. When I say 23, 25, 28, for you guys that don't know what I'm talking about, it's the width, it's the size of the tire, not diameter wise, but the size of the tire in width. So it's designed around 28 mil tires. And as you can see, there is, I mean, that tire is hugging the the basically the frame so it's very aerodynamic in that sense and it is disc specific and it is also a one by system so if you pay attention on the rear you will notice that it is a very large rear cassette um and uh and you still have the range um now uh, for the naysayers out there saying that no one by for road cycling doesn't work I, I, I beg to differ you just have to be a little bit more involved you have to be 
it's it's more specific it's for the person that wants the ultimate not the uh multi-tool in the bag okay so if you want a multi-tool in the bag then go buy a road bike that has a two by and you should be fine uh, quite honestly you should be fine um but if you want the ultimate if you want to 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 push the barriers of aerodynamics for a regular road bike and 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 whatnot i i really uh would urge you to to maybe look into it or try it or see what what you think more than just looking at it or listening to someone else and going oh yeah that's not going to work two by in the front is is what we need for road bikes because it really isn't um so the range in two by it used to be 3953 if i'm not mistaken so your lowest gear in the front would have been 39 tooth and uh and back in i say when that used to be the norm uh we would we would run 11 25 in the rear just about that was that was pretty common 11 28 was like pushing it so 28 it, being a, a bigger sprocket in the rear and then the compacts came in and the compacts or or whatnot the compact cranks they are 34 50 and I rode 3450, and I have been riding 3450 for quite a while. And I, I got to tell you, um, I, I don't miss a gear. So we've moved from 3953 to pretty comfortably uh, running 34. And 34, that, that's like a mountain bike gear in the front. Um, so 3450, 50 being the largest uh, tooth count on the chain ring in the front. And... And we still run 1125, maybe even 1128 rear cassette, even on a compact. So what, how do we achieve the range with a one by on road? Well, it's fairly simple mathematics. I'm not going to go through on how to do it. You can go to, uh, there's a couple of websites available that will actually show you the exact range. But just because you have the gears currently on your bike doesn't mean you actually use those gears. So depending on where you are, where you live, and what kind of uh, um, roads you ride personally, you have to kind of tell or, 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 or decide where in the range are you. So if you're in hilly sections um, and... Uh, and you do a lot of climbing, um, the question is, do you really use the 5011, okay? And if you really do, if you are 5011 and you spin out, I mean, you're not spinning out on 5011, I don't believe you, but but if you're like, you know, 5011 is like, ah, I definitely need that, then uh, you, would, you would then uh, gear your one by with a 50 tooth chain ring in the front and then 11 to something, which is whatever you feel comfortable with, in the back. So your cassette might be 1134, might be 1136. I mean, there's nothing to stop you to go from 11, 1142 or 1146. There is mountain bike cassettes you can put on it, and you have as much range as you want. A little bit of a weight penalty with that, uh, but you have the range. Um, I, I, I doubt that you would need that much. I, I, I've tried it briefly, and I say briefly, a couple hundred miles, and on just a road bike, I literally just tried it, and I felt pretty comfortable where I ride with a 44 tooth in the front, and then first I had a 1136 in the back, and then I've recently just put on 1134 um, there's not many hills or mountains that I've been climbing or, or climb. Now, that being said, if I were to travel somewhere where I knew there was going to be a, a hill climb or whatnot, I would tend to change the cassette to 1136 just to see, did I really need that last gear? So having a one by system is definitely more engaging. You're either going to uh, possibly change cassettes until, until you find out what you need and or... Uh, simply have one or two chain rings in the front. What I mean with that is, one at a time, you just have a couple of them. So you might have a 40, you might have a 44, and then a 48, maybe three of them. Or 
me personally, I don't ever think I'll be uh, going to a 40. But if I had a 44 in the front, and then possibly a larger one or, or, or whatnot. But it all depends. There is no complete right or wrong here. It all just depends on what do you normally ride. You know, if you normally ride flats, you know, I mean, if you really ride flats and you have a uh, flats and you have a two by system, uh, when do you really use the 34 chainring or 36? I mean, um, it, it just it's lighter, it's simpler, um, you name it. Uh, sorry for making this video kind of just uh, boring, but. Um, the, the I just think it is absolutely gorgeous. Now there is a pro team that is actually going to be riding this uh, this uh, this coming year, this coming season, um, and uh, I don't think they're going to have any drawbacks. I think they're going to do absolutely great. There is nothing that would would you know the convent just because something used to happen doesn't mean it was the right thing for it to happen. What I mean with that is just because people used to ride with a two by uh, doesn't mean that that's the, you know, what's necessary. Um, this is gorgeous. I really, really like their idea. So what I'm looking at doing, just to give you guys uh, a heads up, is you don't have to buy a 3T frame and fork for $3,000. And you don't have to buy that complete bike for six or $7,000. Um, you can achieve this in many different ways. So what I did very, very inexpensively uh, was I literally just took off the front derailleur of my personal bike, uh, one of my bikes, and I bought a narrow wide chain ring for my current crank set. They're readily available. You can buy them on eBay or whatever. And uh, and that's all I basically did. And I changed the set and uh, to uh, 11, I settled in for 1134. Um, and then uh, I had Shimano in the front, so the on the front shifter, basically, when you do it, there's nothing there. There's no cable actuation. There's nothing there. I just took out the cable and everything. Um, and I really did like it. So what I'm going to be doing is um, it should be done within a month, but I'm going to be building a uh, somewhat version of this 3T Strata. Uh, what I mean with that is, it's I, I've 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 looked into a frame and fork that I uh, like. It's not going to be disc brake though. Um, I actually found one, and I and I'll go over the details a little bit later on. But I found a frame and fork that I really like, so I've 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 made a purchase, and I'm waiting for it to arrive. And uh, it's going to be rim brake, but it's going to be a, a dedicated one by system, and uh, I'm using the SRAM rival uh front right shifter and a SRAM rival just brake lever on the front brake so um it's going to look very nice and i think uh, i think it's going to turn out to be a very very nice road bike um let me know what you guys think about road one by systems let me know what you think about the 3t strata i think they're absolutely beautiful i love the way that everything looks and, and it looks so integrated that's that's maybe the, the the most beautiful part of this i don't see any cables except for the stem cable seem to go in there i didn't like that very much i i actually prefer it when it goes in here but anyways it's small details but i i love how it just looks so so dedicated and, and so clean now got a question for you guys just on this picture if you were 3t and and or the person that built this bike wouldn't you have trimmed that derailleur cable just a little bit? Every, everything looks so neat, except for that derailleur cable being way too far. Uh, just nit nitpicking here. But, um, but the point is that it looks very, very integrated. Uh, so thanks for watching. There's a lot more to come on, on this channel. And I really appreciate you guys uh, watching and supporting and commenting. And if you want to see something specific, um, let me know and I'll try to make a video of it.